Hello everybody and welcome to the channel Crossing the Spiritual Streams. My name is Tandra and today we're doing our daily messages from Spirit. We do these videos every day where we channel messages from Spirit and pass those on to you. These are timeless readings so whenever you run across the reading if it uh, resonates with you to watch it then there should be a message there for you. As usual we have three different piles for you to choose from. We have pile one with the pink stone, pile two with the um, orange stone, and pile three with the yellow stone. So it is best to go with your gut instinct in whichever pile or piles, because you can watch more than one, resonate with you and makes you feel like, you know, that's, that's my pile, then that's the one that you should watch. There are timestamps in the description that will lead you directly to your pile when you are ready to go there. We do have other videos on the channel that we do that are also timeless and also videos on how to read tarot cards and other videos as well. So do check out our other videos if you get a chance. We also, in each reading, we're going to be doing our Oracle Spheres. That's where you can ask a yes or no type of question that you can get an answer to. And we do those at the end of each reading so you can be thinking of your question. Okay, we're going to give you some time to decide which pile to go to, and then we'll see you reading. Hello, Pile One, and welcome to your daily messages from Spirit. Those of you that chose uh, the pink stone here, oh my, <laughs> getting buried in the snow. All right, I'm gonna put it over here. All right, so we have our messages here. We also have our oracle spheres. So you can be thinking of your yes or no question that you can get an answer to. And let's go out and see what spirit has to say for us today. Oh, we have the queen of cups, the five of pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. Ooh, okay. I like the energy of having the Cups, the Pinnacles, and the Wands because, you know, it's kind of a nice balanced energy there. But also, with the Ace, it's very exciting because that always shows new starts, new beginnings, uh, new ideas, uh, new things happening, okay? And what's great about that is... With the Five of Pentacles energy, the Five is also a change energy, okay? Uh, fives denote change very much so. So with a new energy that going on that shows some changes coming up, and then we also have the Queen of Cups, which the Queens are there uh, at the top of their suit, the, the Kings and Queens are. And with the Cups energy, that's just a nice, wonderful um, stable emotional energy they're very um, the Queen of Cups uh, to me brings a lot of happiness uh, to whatever reading uh, she tends to be in so what I see here and what the message is is that you have a, a new something new is coming into your life that's going to change things for the better and uh, make you feel very happy Okay, so something new is coming along the way. It is going to make a change in your life, probably in the financial realm. And it's going to make you feel a lot happier. Uh, this could be a new change of job. This could be a job offer. Um, and it is very possible that there is a job offer coming because a lot of times the Five of Pentacles energy is where people see um, what they're missing and not what they have. It's almost like the Four of Cups energy. Um, as well, where they're not seeing what's being offered. So I think what Spirit kind of wants you to know is that it's very possible that something new is coming along and be on the lookout for it. Don't uh, let it pass you by. Make sure you pay attention to it um, because it's probably a good thing that you accept whatever offer this is or that you uh, recognize this opportunity when it comes along if it's not an offer. Um, I very much so I believe a new opportunity is on its way to you and spirit doesn't want you to um, 
They want you to notice it or realize that, it, that it's on its way. And that this um, opportunity, if you take it, should change your life for the better and make you a lot happier. Okay, so that sounds really exciting. I really like that. All right. We do have our Oracle Spheres here. And how this works is you think of a yes or no question that you'd like to get an answer to. Okay. And so really the only criteria is that it has a yes or no type of answer involved with it. It is best if you kind of limit it in scope, uh, maybe in time frame or other things, because the more narrow the question is, the easier it is for spirit to answer it. But there really is no specific criteria about what it could be about or anything like that. Uh, you think of your question, and then we have three stands. We have purple, silver, and bronze today. You decide which stand you would like to get your answer on, and then we will go out and we get our answers, okay? Oh, let's see. The answer for purple today is very likely. And the answer for two silver today is a maybe. And an answer for the bronze number three today is a not likely. Okay, so we range from very likely to not likely. All right, so we have very likely, maybe, and not likely. So there are Oracle Sphere answers for today. Thank you so much for being here for today's reading. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Share the channel with your friends and family. That's so important to us, and we very much appreciate it. Also, if you leave us comments in the comment section, that means a lot to us as well. I do lo love reading those and see what you guys have to say for us. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, we do invite you to do so now as well. That way you can be notified of future videos when we put those out. We do put out these daily readings daily, but we also have other readings that we put out at least once a week. So we look forward to seeing you for those as well. We also are getting ready to put out our yearly readings where you can see um, what the year 2022 has in store for us. We have lots of twos going on. All right, we look forward to seeing you in future videos, and may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye. Hello, Pal 2, and welcome to your reading. Those of you that chose the um, orange stone, we're going to move that over here. We have your uh, messages here. We also have our oracle spheres. So you could be thinking of your yes or no question that you can get an answer to as well, because we will be doing that here a moment all right we have the six of swords the empress oh yeah okay and the six of wands oh wow okay well this is really intriguing um six energies to me um well there's a lot of things going on but six energies often deal with family uh, or children in some way or um, moving on from five energies which are change energies uh, sometimes battles sometimes fights and other things and the six both sixes the six of wands uh, and the six of swords are very much moving forward uh, moving beyond uh, some of these things but they're also with sixes in my uh, opinion uh, dealing very much with, I really feel like there's children involved with this message today. And one of the reasons is the Empress card, um, this particular one, she's actually showing a foal in a lot of Empress cards. She's pregnant. She's getting ready to give birth uh, to something. So with all of this energy going on that deals a lot with children or uh, with n new starts or new beginnings or moving past other things, I really feel like Spirit wants you to connect with children right now. Uh, you need that that energy. You need that that childlike energy. You need to tap into your inner child as well. Um, but that's very important. I also feel like for some of you, for a select few of you, um, and this will resonate with you if this message is for you specifically, but I really feel like Spirit also wants you to know that another child is coming into your life. Um, Maybe you're going to get pregnant. Uh, maybe somebody in your family is going to give birth or adopt a baby or have a child. Um, or a, a neighbor's going to come by and their child's going to be 
uh, very close to you or you know, gonna, you're going to integrate it into your family in some way. But somehow or another, uh, Spirit wants you to know that a child is coming into your life and helping to um, heal you from any kind of wounds that you may have suffered recently, uh, but also give you that connection that you kind of need uh, right now. So that message is for some of you watching this, but um, all in all, I do feel like uh, Spirit wants you to connect with your inner child and maybe with other children, um, even if you're not the one that's going to have one come into your life, maybe you can go volunteer at a youth group or a youth center or uh, something like that. A spirit really wants you to um, connect with children and with your child side right now because they think it's going to heal you and make you um, improve your situation quite a bit. So that's kind of the energy we got going there. Okay. We do have our Oracle Spheres here. And how this works is you think of a yes or no question that you would like to get an answer to. Um, it's best to make it as narrow as possible. Um, try not to be too broad with it. It's a little easier to answer the question if it's a little bit more specific in nature. Um, but it could be about any subject that you would like or anything that you would like an answer to. And we have three different stands here. We have silver, bronze, and purple. You decide which stand that you would like to get your answer on. And then we go out and get our answers, okay? So number one, silvers are not sure. That might mean the question wasn't very clear. Or some things have to play out first before an answer can be known because it might change the outcome. Number two, bronze is a no. And number three, purple, is a not sure. Wow, interesting. Okay, so we have a not sure, and a no, and a not sure. So there's your Oracle Sphere answers for today's reading. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it greatly. And we very much love to see you in future videos when we do put those out. We do put these out daily. We also have other videos we put out at least once a week. Many of those are timeless as well. So uh, do check them out. They might be um, of interest to you. Also, please remember to give the video a thumbs up and share the channel with your friends and family. We appreciate that so much, and we can't even tell you how, how much we appreciate you guys, when you guys do that for us. All right, we look forward to seeing you again in future videos, and may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 3, and welcome to your daily messages from Spirit. Those of you that chose the yellow stone here, and we have your messages here. We also have your oracle spheres. So you can be thinking of a yes or no question that you can get an answer to. And we will do that at the end of the reading. So let's see what messages Spirit has to say today. Oh, we got the page of wands. And the four of cups. And the ten of pentacles. Oh, I love that energy. Okay. The message I'm getting for you guys is it's actually very similar to the first pile energy. So if you felt like watching the first pile, maybe you should. But I feel like there is an opportunity that's going to be offered to you soon. There is um, somebody's going to be offering you something or an opportunity is going to come your way. Um, and it's actually, uh, it's going to be something new and exciting, uh, for you. Something that's going to make you feel kind of childlike. It's going to make you feel ex excited. It's going to make you feel giddy like you used to when you were young and, uh, you know, somebody would hand you a present or you'd get a surprise and it would just make you feel all happy and cheerful and excited inside. That's kind of the energy I'm getting with this is that whatever opportunity this is or whatever somebody's going to offer you or whatever um, is going to come along, it's going to make you feel that way. It's going to give you that, that, that energy, that feel that, oh, wow, this is so cool kind of energy. Okay. Um, it 
could be financially related, or at least it might help you out financially. I don't necessarily think it's a new job, although it could be. Um, but that energy isn't quite there for, for most of you. Um, but whatever it is, uh, maybe somebody's just going to give you money. That's very possible. Um, or give you something that might help, like maybe give you something that you can make money on. Uh, something like that. Or maybe some advice even that might even help you make money. I'm not entirely certain um, what this is going to be offered to you or given to you because I think it's different for each one of you. So I can't really pinpoint it. But I do think it might help you out financially. And I don't necessarily think it's a job for most of you. Uh, so there you go. Make sure that you're paying attention to things, though, because with the Four of Cups energy, it is possible to not notice something being offered to you. Also with the Four energy as well, Fours deal very much with foundational energies. They also uh, deal with the family and home life and things like that. So it's very possible this might deal with your family in some way. Uh, or creating a family like maybe a marriage proposal that is possible uh, for some of you uh, for that to be the case or some sort of partnership like that um, but I do think it might have to do deal with maybe building a foundation or uh, working with your family or something like that but at the very least you guys do need to pay attention to things being offered to you coming up in the near future because you don't want to not notice uh, that it's there. Uh, sometimes we get on one track or one mindset and we're not kind of looking around us to see what else is available or what else is out there. And Spirit would like for you to do that. Okay. All right. That sounds kind of exciting. All right. Let's go on to our Oracle Spheres. And how this works is you think of a yes or no question that you'd like an answer to. Uh, it can be pretty much on any topic you would like, but it would be good to make it more of a narrow question. Try to limit maybe in time frame or in scope in some way, because it's a little easier for spirit to answer questions like that. We do have three stands. We have bronze, purple, and silver. And you would decide which stand you would like your answer to appear on, and then we uh, get our answers here. All right, so number one, bronze is not likely. Number two, purple is also not likely. And number three, silver is very likely. All right, so we have a not likely, a not likely, and a very likely. There are your Oracle Sphere answers for today's reading. Thank you so much for being here and letting us do this for you. It means a lot to us, and I hope it's helpful to you as well. We do do these videos every day, but we also have other videos that we put out at least once a week, so do check those out. Also, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Share the channel with your friends and family. That is so important to us, we can't even tell you how much. Uh, and also, if you leave us comments in the comment section and subscribe to the channel, those things are also very useful to us, and we appreciate those as well. All right, we look forward to seeing you again in future videos, and may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye.